welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a quick little haul for you, but something incredible happened. As I was pulling out all my makeup to the new stuff I have to show you in this haul. So, I got King Tut a while back. This just knocked to the floor and shattered all over. Like, like not a little crack, everything broke in powder. So, let me turn off the fan. Even though it's boiling hot in here, my makeup is going to be melting. But anyway, this shit broke into a million pieces and it's all over my floor. I have to, like, my hands are glittery. But anyway, that's what happened. It's a good highlighter, highlighter even though the owner is an asshole and doesn't want to apologize about any of his racist remarks. Everything but his racist remarks. Even though it is half-assed apologies, I'm not going to get into it. He has good products. It's just too bad that the owner is an asshole. I got some eyelashes from eBay. These were 97 cents a piece and I just absolutely love them. They're like demi lashes and they just go with everything. There was like a 75% off the Elite, original Elite Morphe line. It's discontinued and now they have the Elite 2. Um, I got a few of their brushes that I really, really wanted. This is the EA. I use this for under eye powder. It works perfect for under eye powder. I love this brush. Basically you can buff foundations with all of these because they're just amazing quality. Um, this is the E2. I haven't used this yet. It's a powder brush. Um, this is just an awesome buffer all over for liquid foundations. It's the E31. Okay, okay. And this is for this is the E31. You can use this for cream contouring or highlight, whatever you want to use. This is the E7. Then this is the E5. It's a fan brush. Definitely highlighter. My nephew's on the other side of the room, so you're going to be hearing children. But anyway, I got the glow kit. That glow I have been using, uh, what is it? I've been using Dripping in Gold like crazy. Today I used the Candlelight by um, Cover Effects, and on top of it I put Golden Bronze. Like, oh, what? That highlight is crazy. But anyway, I love this palette. I've been using it like crazy. It's a bit dirty because I have been using it. Next, I got um, dark brown pencils by um, Anastasia. I always use my dip brow. I'm wearing dip brow today in ebony, but dark brown is really, 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 really nice. It's just, she has amazing brow products. Everybody knows this. Then I finally got some of these liquid lips because they finally put the pro discount on the liquid lips and these are 13 a piece and glosses are like 10. Um, this is Sepia. Did I use this yet? I think I did, but I'm not sure. Amazing color. I got Ashton. I have, I think I'm wearing Ashton on Instagram. I'm not sure. No, I haven't worn these yet. So yeah, this is the two colors. On top is Ashton and Sepia is on the bottom. It's beautiful. Like all of these are basically the same colors, nudes. What is my problem? I don't know. But anyway, from top to bottom, this is Fudge, Kristen, and then Tara on the bottom. These are just fall. Why am I in such a fall mood? I don't know. These are so gorgeous. They're freaking beautiful. Okay, so I completely missed this. So I'm going to cut in the video and show you the Cover FX products that I do have. I have the Cream Concealer in the shade N Deep. I really do love this because it's high coverage. And it gives me the brightness that I do like in a concealer. And here I have the Cover FX Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation in the shade N100. It's a bit dark for me, but it works since it's the summertime. It works out. Um, but I also use a concealer to, you know, brighten and do the rest of my face, so it's not too bad. So this is the foundation on the bottom, and the top is the concealer. The next product is super popular. This is the basically liquid gold. This is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops, and I have it in candle Candlelight. And I've used this a couple of times already. It's absolutely ugh, amazing. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this a couple of times. This is just gorgeous for women of color. It's just, it, oh, it shines with beautiful chocolate skin. It's just amazing. Next, I have the Liquid Eyeliner by NYC. This is the, the shade 887 Extreme Black New York Intense. So that's the tip of the brush right there. It's ultra thin and, you know, you could... It, it's really good. I don't know what to say. It's a good dark liner, and I'm not sure if it dries matte because I haven't really taken taken notice to it. But um, I don't think it dries matte. But you know, 
If it does, I'll, I'll let you know. Then I went to Walmart and got me some toner. This is estrogen, this is sea breeze. This is really good. I feel like it works really well with cleaning everything off my face after I finish washing with soap. It's, I love this. I've been using this for a while. Then I did some research and I said, Rachel, why you don't have any clay masks or anything like that? So I was like, yeah, let me get a few things. So I got Help Pour Cleanup Mask. Basically, it's supposed to pull out your blackheads and stuff. So yeah, that's it. It's pretty popular. Everyone has reviewed it, so that's why I picked it up from Amazon. And then I got the Carbonated Bubble Clay Mask, which I have not even used yet, but it looks really fun. I've seen it. i seen reviews on YouTube, and it's, it's pretty good. I got this egg white um, mask, which is basically supposed to pull out whiteheads, brighten your skin, even it, and all that good stuff. So I said, why not? Let's not try a bunch of stuff. Um, then... I got this Final Steel by Ben Nye. This was thirty dollars, pretty expensive, but it's eight fluid ounces. Eight fluid ounces, and I really like it's the, it. Mattifies your makeup, okay? But you know when you spray water in your face and you get spots, that's kind of what I got with this. I like I really stretched far to spray my face, like as far as I could, and I still got those spots on my face, and it kind of. It didn't look good. It basically looked like your makeup was sweating or something like that. I didn't like it, but it does matter for your makeup, which is really good. So I'll probably give it a try. Um, I didn't really like it the first few times. Maybe I need like a bottle, like the Fix Plus kind of bottle to use this. Like so really finely mist it on my face. I don't know, but I'm going to give it a go again. Then I got two masks from Freeman. You could get this from Ulta, but I got this from Walmart. Um, my sister has been using the heck out of this one. This is avocado and oatmeal clay mask. And she has been loving this. It's green. It's just an avocado face mask. And then this one is a charcoal and black sugar polishing mask. Yeah. This is really nice. It really scrubs in. It really exfoliates really nicely. So I do like these two. Then, I know everybody has been waiting for my Bath & Body Works um, summer annual sale thing. Semi-annual summer sale um but usually the summer sales are not really for me because i don't really like the scents that they have usually it's january winter semi annual sales that i really really do love but i did get a few things you know i got iced pear margarita and the keynotes are fiesta pear baja lyman 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 mango fl flower mayan sugarcane mexican sandalwood and it's it's like I like fruits sometimes 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 I like fruits it smells good I'm not knocking it it's really it smells like a pear it's not my favorite but it's I it's I then I got a uh, mango mandarin mango mandarin and it says the juice the keynote so juicy mango sparkling mandarin orange nectar and blossom and I got two of them I don't I, I didn't know I picked two but I got two of these and then I got the spray of it. Then I got the spray. And I got the Vanilla Bean White Barn candle. You already know my love for vanilla. So that's how it looks. I like how simple the packaging is. And it's a frosted like body, you know, case. <laughs> what do you call this? Jar. <laughs> I like how it's like frosted and kind of like not your usual candle jar. It smells amazing. What does it say? It says, a remarkably luscious vanilla takes on a new sophistication with layers of sparkling sugar, crystals, and a hint of fresh cream. Cream. I love cream. It smells really good, so yes. That's it for this haul. Uh, thank you so much for watching our videos. If you happen to like it, please do thumbs up and subscribe and leave me a comment down below and I'll see you in another video. Bye.